All right, guys, 2021's numbers are in. And in today's episode, we are going to discuss it. Over $90,000 in sales. We're going to dive into all of our cost of goods sold, our shipping costs, our eBay fees, and of course, the profits. All right, guys, so check it out. Over $90,000 in sales, 56 items sold. That's right, only 56 items. And guess what? We only spend an average of five hours a week to make these types of sales. So we're going to dive in. So the total sales were at $90,000, $90,058. So. Woohoo! Just over. <laughs> now the first two sales that I want to talk about, because we're going to kind of take them off the totals because there were two vehicles that we sold. So we had two cars that we sold this year that we, we don't pay a lot for our vehicles. We, don't. So we buy a lot of used uh, vehicles and use everything, but we wanted to include them because everything that we purchase, we also know that we can resell it and either break even or even make some money. This is an important part of a flipper's life, at least for mm -hmm. our lives. Everything we sell is an investment. So anything that we need, whether it's a vehicle, whether, well, I'll give you an example. We just bought a bed. We bought a sleep number bed. Now we've sold probably over a hundred sleep numbers, sleep, num sleep number beds in our past. Um, but we needed a new bed. So we found a sleep number. The reason why we do sleep numbers, because you can take them all apart. You can wash them, sanitize them and do all that stuff, put them back together. And you have almost a brand new bed. So we needed one, uh, a new bed. And I went out and I found us a sleep number. Now this sleep number is like a $5,000 bed. I paid $200 for it. It's got the cool foundation on it that lifts the head up and puts the head back down. You can do all that kind of stuff. You set the uh, the sleep number on it. It's just really, really a cool bed. But all that being said is we, when we do need something, whatever it is, we look for a good deal knowing that if we need to upgrade in the future, we can always sell it and make money on it. That's what we did with these vehicles. That's kind of what we do with everything that we buy is look for the best deal, the cheapest deal we can find so we can get use out of it and then make some money. Because we were going to sell it if we didn't like it. But Absolutely. I, we might keep it for a little bit and then we can sell our other sleep numbers. That's it. So that we got before. So it, it works. But the, so the vehicles, we sold one for 5,800 5, and one for 3,500. So, and we paid roughly about that one, like one was 27 and one was six. So it's pretty much a wash for what we paid for them and what we sold them for. But we got to use them. The so. Escalade we drove for, I don't know how many years, three or four years we yeah. had that sucker, did not lose money on it. The van, the same thing. We bought a big passenger van to do a road trip with my, two of my sisters, my nieces, had a blast with it, used it for the summer, drove I don't All even know. Yeah, nine or 10,000 miles on it. And then we sold it after that once we were done with it and we did not lose any money. So that's kind of how we, that's how we roll. We buy that stuff. We try and get the use out of it and then make our money back or even make some money sometimes on it. So, so, and we did, we did forget to mention that our goal last year, we did set a goal in the beginning of the year. You can grab it. So I know, board. <laughs> we made a board. You can't see it on the podcast, but if you're watching on YouTube, we made a board hundred thousand dollars. We hit 90. We didn't make quite make it. To, we didn't quite make it to a hundred, a hundred thousand. So, but but that's okay because guys, we only spent an average of five hours a week on this. So this is considered still a side hustle. We're doing all kinds of other stuff with trainings, with our courses, with all the other stuff and flipping. We love it. We'll always do it. We love doing, we stay up to date on all the stuff that's going on because we flip on a weekly, we, we do it every day. I'm either looking for stuff or we're, not do it. we're shipping stuff out. So that's one of those things that we're, we're still in the game. We absolutely love it and we'll do it the rest of our lives, but we just had to spend a little bit of time to make that amazing income. So we're very thankful, blessed, and excited about that income for sure. So I'm going to be making another board for this year because I want to hit that hundred thousand. Like that's my goal. We're going to do it. Okay? We'll make it. Got it. Got to get some stuff listed. <laughs> so our total without the vehicles was $80,758. And of that, the, our cost of goods was $5,100. This is important guys. $5,100 is all we had to come out of pocket to make that 80, it's really $80,000 because of the cars, we didn't count yeah. that in it, but $5,100 to make $80,000. That's amazing. That's all we had to invest to make that. And our goal typically is 10 times um, our investment and we crushed it here for sure. Yeah. And without the cars, our average sale price per item was $1,442, which was pretty cool this year. So, and out of that, the sales tax was 3,615. So the easiest way for us to keep books is 
get the total sales that include, we do a lot of free shipping. So that includes the shipping in it, but then we charge for some shipping. So it's hard to like count it like partly shipping, partly not. So I just include everything in the totals and then subtract it all out. Yep. So the fees were 5,380 and that is final value fees were 4,978. This is the breakdown of it. Yep. The store, our store subscription cost us 335. You promoted three items. I think that was $44 total. We actually promoted more than three items, oh, but only true. three items sold with through the, the promotion. So meaning that they only, those items sold with eBay promoting them to that person. That's how it works. So but we only got charged three promotion You fees. did have several times that you would promote it and then it would sell right after the promotion yes. was over and you didn't get the fee, which exactly. is an, inter an international fee of $23. So that was that breakdown. The shipping, our total shipping costs, and this is including all of our freight shipping, yep. freight shipments, 5,539, which brings our total profits to 61,124. $61,000. So. That's total profits, guys. We still did that 10X on the investment of $5,100. $5, and you know, that's awesome. That's super excited. We're excited about it. I did want to, our, our shipping fee, you guys can see is a little bit higher than most people, but it's because we do the bigger items. This is what our model is. This is what allows us to work five hours a week and make $60,000 in profit a year because we sell the bigger items. Our average cost of items sold over 1400 bucks. That is amazing. That is so much fun uh, for us to be able to do that and get to that. And we've honed these skills for over 20 years. We've been, been grooming this and working towards this. I mean, it's really, really cool that we're able to do it. That gives us more time to spend with each other, more time to spend on making videos and content to, to help other people do that. And it gives us more time to spend with our kids as well. So that is really our goal. More picky now too, of what you buy, because you're only buying the stuff that is going to make you more money. money. Absolutely. So, yeah. Um, and now, so let's talk about what about returns. So what of those 56 items were returns? So nobody wants to talk about the returns. They're not fun, but we did have three of them. We did. Um, and, but two of the three of them, and we actually just talked about one in a recent episode, episode 22. Um, we talked about the shower pan that yep. got returned um, and how we were able to still get our money back from that. That was a $700 one. Um, and then the other return was the escalator cleaner. Yep. Um, and we were able to get the money back from that one as well. Exactly. Because, Both of those were high dollar ones. Yeah, $700? 11 or 1200 I think it was 12 yeah. $1,200 for the, it was a duplex um, um, escalator cleaner. So electric, like, yeah. like a vacuum for an escalator. Uh, uh, that's what it was. But the um, guy ended up doing a fraudulent charge, but he had signed for the item which doesn't work no, out. Communication back and forth through eBay. <laughs> eBay had all that stuff. So, so it worked out in our favor. We did not lose any money on it. Um, it worked out in our favor on that one. The only one that did not work out Praise the Lord. It was a small one. Um, and I probably could have fought it, but I did, I chose not to. Um, and it was actually a baby scale, um, that we paid $10 for and we sold it for a hundred and I think $145 yeah. somewhere around there. Just recently, yeah, yeah. Just recently. I just got it back the other day, actually. So, um, that was the only it one. The and the only the reason it came back <laughs> was because it would not read in pounds. It only read in kilograms. kilograms um, so. and the guy couldn't figure out how to change it over to pounds. When I got it back, I couldn't figure it out either. So, um, eBay, um, they, they told me they, they would recommended me doing it. I did not try to fight them. I just did it. It was only $145, not a super big deal. I'll, re I'll resell it and say that it's in kilograms and it cannot be changed to pounds. Um, and somebody else will buy it. I mean, doctor's offices, they use, um, scales like that. So it's, it's a commercial baby scales, what it is. So, but only one return that we actually had to facilitate, um, through all of our sales this last year, uh, excited. We don't, if you guys don't know us very well, we do not take returns. Uh, we say all of our items are sold as is. We describe them well. We take good pictures. Um, and in this case, like I said, this baby scale, I had no idea you couldn't change it over to pounds. Who would have ever yeah. thought? Um, so I didn't really say anything about it. it. Yeah. I tested it to make sure it was working. It weighed, but it was in kilograms. I didn't think it was a big deal. So that on my, it is on my fault. So that's why we took it back and we'll just resell it and make our money back um, with it. But we'll, the buyer, the new buyer will have to know it only reads in kilograms. So, yeah. and we sometimes taking returns might make sense for your business, but for us, we sell all used items, which yeah. we describe as accurate as possible. We take as best pictures that we can and make sure the buyer knows and understands the condition of the item that they're getting. Yep. And we even sometimes maybe make it sound worse than it <laughs> actually yeah. is. Yeah. Um, so they're, what they get is even better condition than they expected. Yeah. So it's accurately describing it. If you can't test it, we say, uh, this has not been tested. It's being sold as is, um, in that kind of instance, you know, people are taking the chance on it. We're giving them a great deal. They're getting um, it on average of 50% retail yeah. is what our average price is. So. Exactly. So it's a really, really good deal for them for sure. Yeah. So unless it's some kind of collector or lately vintage items are 
Vintage hot. is from our child. <laughs> yeah, they're hot right now. So, well, let's talk about some of 2021. It was a killer year. We had a great time um, with our kids, with our family, with highlights. our members. Yeah, so let's give you a couple highlights of the year from our eyes. Yeah. Um, and hopefully you guys will appreciate it yeah. for sure. So we got to do our five-week road trip Woo-hoo! across the country, um, 11,000 miles. And we saw many national parks. Yep. We went from Florida down around to Texas, to Arizona, up to Colorado to see some family, then back down and around to California, up to Washington, back across to Michigan and back down to Florida. So So. we got to see Sequoias. We got to see Redwoods. We got to see um, Zion. Um, There's quite a few highlights. What else? Mount Rainier was one of my favorites. Mount Rainier. So really, really cool. A fun road trip with our kids. Not only that, we got to see some of our students. We probably hooked up with uh, eight or nine of uh, our, our Flipper University students students. So had a great time meeting with them around the country, meeting up for dinner, meeting up for uh, lunch, whatever it was. Um, but just got to hang out with some people. It was a lot of fun. It was really, really cool. So yeah. definitely enjoyed the summer. And of course we brought our trailer. So our plan, we had planned to end with the 127 yard sale in Michigan and then head back down to Florida with the 127 yard sale. But by the time we got to Michigan, we had a full trailer. We did. So <laughs> we didn't really see the need. We actually did go one day and then we just went home. We were ready to be home at that point and we just went home. Um, so we didn't really do the whole 127 yard sale. No. Although we did stop the first day. You were thinking about, oh, maybe we should do it. <laughs> you were getting excited again. You get hooked once you get into it. Yeah. So, but no, so we still had a good time. We bought 14 items on the road worth about 17,000, 17,150. That's right. Um, and we spent $850 on those on the road. We've sold like four or five of them already. So, um, they're in those totals that we already talked about. That's it. So killer, killer road trip, had fun visiting other people. Um, got to visit these parks and pick up and work while we were on the road. Uh, we found some really cool stuff all around the country, uh, brought it back. Actually on this road trip, we listed a lot of the stuff when we found it. Um, I took it out of the hotels. We stayed in hotels. Um, I took it out of the trailer in the hotels, got pictures and got it listed. Um, one of the items we sold in like 24 hours and I'll call attention to that. It was a $35 steamer commercial wallpaper remover um i think we sold it for like 750 yep, yep, so right. we paid 35 dollars for it sold it in 24 hours on the road for 750 dollars um and that almost paid for all of our items that we bought on the road because we only spent 800 and some dollars um so killer deal on that excited about that that is our goal this year is to try and find more items um and be able to list them on the road ship them out if we have to uh so super super excited for this coming year as well yeah that was fun i remember we we didn't have reception for a little while we were driving through the desert then all of a sudden it popped up we cha-ching. sold it <laughs> cha-ching um we had a lot of driving through some deserts yeah. over that trip um so that was a fun trip and we uh, we want to do something like that pretty much every summer if we can like yeah some kind of with road the kids trip. and work and it's yeah fun. it's fun so but let's call some attention to some of our students this year some of our students had some cool cool stuff uh going on and uh yeah let's uh let's let's so, get a shout out uh jack and joan we got to talk to a couple times um they're close to us yeah. uh, distance wise so we've gotten to see them and talk to them on our podcast before so jack and joan are uh students that jumped in just over just about over a year ago and they had their highest 90 day total of almost thirty thousand dollars awesome so cool and they're doing this in retirement together which is so fun um and they're having so much fun it is really really cool it's cool to see their journey for sure um but that's awesome thirty thousand dollars in 90 days that is killer they actually got to show us some of their flips we got to go to their place Uh, they're not that far from us so it was pretty cool to see um so yeah so that was awesome joanna bought a camper uh, a camper for nine thousand dollars cash all from her flipping money so that she'd been saving up and she even when she talked about it like you could tell like she was like okay this is a big amount of money just to hand over and she was a little nervous but then she's like I, i'm gonna make it again that's so it that's it, was it so fun to hear her talk about joanna that. had a killer year and she's already jumped off the new year and she's making good money good sales so uh super excited for her growth as well and she's doing are, amazing some of these people we've talked to um so we'll link to all to any of their interviews uh, yep. in the notes for sure yep um uh, adam had is, was average about five thousand dollars a month before he had his uh newborn yeah <laughs> so but, but this is a side hustle for him as well yeah. he's got a full-time job and he's still on the side hustle of flipping which is awesome five thousand dollars a month on the side that is awesome that's yeah. really really killer and at the beginning of the year last year uh dina had posted that she her they paid for her daughter's wedding dress with flipping money that's and it. then after that she was able to quit her second job and she's like I, yes i know i said second job but i don't have to do that anymore because of flipping now i can it's covered with my flipping money and she said it was the first Saturday that she hadn't didn't have to get up at 
five o'clock o'clock in the morning. So that's that, so exciting for us to hear that kind of stuff. So yeah. we absolutely love it for sure. And one, I remember one conversation we had just recently with Amy, um, that chess set that she sold, I can't remember what she picked it for, but it was something super low and she looked it up and it was some very rare. Yeah. Oh, and it was during the time that the queen's gambit was yep. really popular. Yep. That's what it was. So like knowing some of those stuff that is popular trending like, right trending. now yeah she sold it for nine hundred dollars it was some glass chess set so it was crazy cool. crazy and crazy she's averaging around four thousand dollars a month on vintage items so i still get a kick out of that vintage item some of the times it's from our childhood. From our childhood we're vintage now no it's pretty cool it's cool to see that stuff it's really cool to find that stuff and be able to flip it on the vintage items which are usually from the 80s right mm-hmm. now that is what's hot <laughs> um so and that's when i was a kid it's awesome um but so yeah we did, so we did that cd player just recently that was you bought did. for that was 30 in the night it was uh, manufactured in the 90s early 90s a you cd it player 30 and sold it for 500 that's it it's crazy killer so, killer killer so I don't know. people are liking that stuff and then we had a couple cool things happen in flipper university this our uh, flea market flipper this year uh that we got all off the ground and had some cool, some good results yeah, with we had, our, go ahead. our, well, our sourcing membership. This yeah. is the first year ever we've actually done this uh, to where we, we uh, had people come in on a membership um, and then we would help them source in their local areas. So we've sourced all over the country, helping people find amazing deals that they can buy and then resell, uh, make good profit. So, so this is our first year on that. It was amazing. One of the biggest motivations was because you don't really need to be looking for any no! more inventory. So now you can still get the thrill of looking for inventory. But I absolutely <laughs> love it. I love finding those deals. That is what I'm really, really good at. So Pass I love, I love helping other people do it. So, and yeah, yeah and really, we also really cool. uh, hosted our sourcing workshop and um, that, uh, that was a four week one, which was pretty, was awesome. Yep. And then our shipping boot camp, and you can find, we'll post those links. You can get the evergreen the replays. Notes. Yeah. In yeah. the show notes too. So that was a lot of fun. And uh, we did our, our first summit last year, yeah. which we joined hands with a whole bunch of other resellers and flippers. And uh, we got, had a, put on a killer, killer fun summit where everybody got to come together and watch uh, all these different uh, presentations and got to learn some amazing stuff from other reef sellers. So it was really, really fun. Yeah, that was a, that was a big event to put on. Like we've never done something like that before. So it was, but, and getting to know other resellers has been so much fun. And out of that, because we did that, then we decided to kick off the reseller hangout podcast. So that's it. So we started a <laughs> podcast last year and I think we're like 25 episodes into it. We'll put these, uh, all these links in the show notes, if you're interested. Oh, and the kids started their eBay store this last year. So we did a lot in the spring with them. We didn't really do that much in the fall with them. We were working on the summit. And um, so we kind of didn't really help them that much in the fall, but in the spring, they sold like 14 items for about $400, I think was their sales. So, um, so they were pretty excited about that. We did have something funny (laughs) happen with our five-year-old. So Melissa was telling him to do his chores, um, which yeah, we give them a little bit of money to do chores. And she was telling him, if you want some money, go do your chores. And he looked at her dead serious and said, mom, I don't have to do chores anymore. I can make more money flipping dead serious. And we were like, (laughs) both of us just started dying laughing because he was serious. Oh my goodness. It was just crazy, crazy, crazy. So yeah, our kids are picking up on some crazy stuff, but it was, a, it was a lot of fun. I uh, definitely said, well, I, I, yeah, I didn't know what to say to that. I'm like, well, you're not wrong, but you still have to do your chores. Now yeah. I'm not going to pay you to do anything. Yeah. So you still got to do your chores. But so that was really funny. So hopefully, and he just sold something recently, just one of his old toys for 50 bucks. It was that's a it. big old toy set. So he a Batman excited. set. Yeah. He and excited. Uh, excited about that as well. So that's we awesome. Had one of our biggest sales not our biggest ever transaction, no. but one of our but biggest for big, last year. Biggest for last year and a, a huge pallet. It was our largest build. item uh, last year. It was our largest item that we sold, and it was our highest profit item that we sold, uh, which was the bus wash. If you guys missed it, um, we sold a big. It was I think uh, eleven or twelve foot tall. Um, I think the pallet that we had to put it on was like seven foot wide, six foot tall, something like that. Really, really big. Built a pallet. That one actually took us a little bit longer to build. Um, it took me probably three. <laughs> days. I didn't, I didn't work on it eight hours a day. I only worked a couple hours a day on it, but it took us eight days to build. And we sold that for, or sorry, three days. (laughs) Yeah. Three days to build. Um, and how much did we sell at 14? Was it $14,500? So we paid $500 for it. And then we sold it for $14,500. So definitely a killer sale for last year. Uh, super excited about that one. Um, and I'm working on a couple more (laughs) bus washes right now. Um, trying to negotiate, (laughs) trying to negotiate a couple of bus washes that I could, uh, I can snag and then, uh, hopefully get them resold as well this coming year. So excited about that. 
that probably did take you a little longer than it you did. thought because uh, you normally but like still, I could get it done in a day and then yeah. no, well a still a total day it didn't take me quite eight hours no, to do it but yeah. I split it up into a couple yeah, hours a couple and hours. a couple days doing it because that's how we work sometimes we don't have a couple hours to work uh, before I go pick up the kids from school or before we go do something else so I have the the time freedom to only put a couple hours here and there into it um, but it did yeah. it did stretch across a couple days so when we did say when we say we averaged five to ten hours so that week was more and but exactly. there's other weeks that are a lot less so we only had we only sold three items that month um but we didn't need to sell anymore no, we had the bus watch to the deal so and that was actually i think the month we were on the road trip yeah it was right when we, we got back we yeah. came back to a, an amazing we sold an ice cream machine for, for eighty five hundred dollars yeah. that we didn't pay anything for a lady gave it to us for free um and then we sold the bus watch that we paid five hundred dollars for for fourteen five or yeah fourteen five and then one other big sale as well i don't yeah. remember what it was but yeah only three sales that month and we were over twenty some thousand dollars so it was killer killer month for sure yeah that so was awesome and one thing i do have to say about only having the 56 items, it, it makes bookkeeping a lot easier. So um, of course, the best way to, is to do your bookkeeping either uh, at least every month or every week if you sell really high volume. But I mean, even going back after the year and just totaling up the numbers, it was not that crazy because and, it's not that many items. Yeah. So. And eBay's back office is so awesome now. Uh, you can go in and download an actual chart or an actual uh, right. Excel spreadsheet of everything that you sold, uh, the price that it was. So it's very, very great for bookkeeping. Very, very easy. Uh, we had to go back in and add our freight shipping because freight does it's when, not you, in there, yeah, when you, when you, you buy our freight shipping. Uh, we buy it off of eBay's right, website. Yeah. Um, and we have to go back and add that in for bookkeeping. Um, what else do we have we to add in? added uh, cost of goods. Sold. Cost of goods. So, so it was, the, I just added it. So it's easy in one spot. Yeah. So. so we have one full spreadsheet now, but like Melissa said, 56 items. Come on. That's, that's awesome uh, <laughs> that to make fun. the profits that we were able to make. So killer, killer deal. One highlight for me uh, was in the spring of last year, we got invited to uh, be in a reselling um, challenge, be interviewed with by Shalene Johnson. So she's somebody that I've been following for a long time. I, I don't know, since I got started in the fitness industry so many years ago. So, um, so that was pretty fun. And she does this once a year, usually a reselling challenge. And cause it's a quick way to make money and clean out your closet. She likes the decluttering aspect of it. So it's a quick way to make money. And so it was a lot of fun to talk yeah. with her and, and be on that. Um, and we jumped into our biggest coaching program that we've ever done before. Um, we're not coaching. We're actually receiving coaching. So we're paying for coaching. Very, very big investment for us. Uh, we're strong believers and always growing. So if you guys don't know that much about us, we are, Melissa and I are listening to podcasts. We're listening to audiobooks every day, almost. almost every single day while we're exercising, we're doing that. We're constantly investing into ourselves uh, so we can get better, so we can serve better, so we can help better. Um, that's our goal is to do that. So well, we heard, a, we went to our first in-person pod uh, conference, conference this yeah. year, which uh, in two years, which was amazing because you hadn't been around a whole bunch of people yep. in a long time. So that was really fun to be in a room with all those people. How many people were in there? Like 3000. 3, yeah. yeah. So, so it was like, yeah, 3000 people. Was, it was awesome. So much fun. We listened to some Myron was speaking and was, he said something about Myron Golden said, um, if you're not moving forward, then you're digressing. You yeah. can't stand still. So. Most people think if I'm not coaching, if I'm not right. learning, if I'm not investing into myself, then I'm just standing still. He said, you can't do that. And he took, for example, like a car, you park a car outside or you, you somewhere, you park a car and, and leave it there in the elements for, um, for 10 years, that car is not going to be the same. It's going to have rust. It's going to have all kinds of uh, other issues. And he kind of pulled that back to us and said, listen, if we're not growing, if we're not constantly trying to better ourselves, uh, with education, with stuff, uh, then we're actually going backwards we're digressing and that really touched home for us um, we're huge advocates and uh, believers in always trying to grow uh, that's what we always want to do um, and that's kind of why we jumped into this coaching yeah. it's a year coaching program that it's uh it is a sacrifice for us to do it um, but at the same time we want to be growing we want to be able to help you guys better i mean that's kind of where this podcast was birthed at um, was this event that we went to because we want to help people get better at the flipping game for sure yeah and that was also when we listened to uh nick sanitas oh yeah and that was a big mind that shift for you for sure um he really challenged us and especially you and you're like okay i need to be doing more so yep. it was a it was a pretty it was an awesome conference it so was. always like find people that you like to listen to and and learn from them exactly. and listen and books and we don't really read it that much but we do like to listen to audiobooks yeah. so um we have a list we have an audible subscription and we listen to those on the road and listen to podcasts podcasts um, audiobooks encouraging um, because the world is so negative yep. so and listening to the news and listening we don't do any of that stuff so um just fill your mind with encouraging people yep. and people that are where you want to be and so you can help 
get to your goals. That's it. So that's it. Yeah. So that was a 2020. That's a recap in a nutshell. A killer, killer year. Super excited for 2022. Moving forward, we are going to hit that goal this year of a hundred thousand um, dollars. Hopefully, we'll stay. Two at, no, I'm just kidding. Hopefully, we'll stay at that five hours a week. You know, rough uh, estimate on our time invested into the flipping gig. Um, and then, yeah, we're just super excited for the year coming up. So, all right, guys. Woo-hoo! Check the show notes for all the links if you're interested in any of the stuff that we talked about and we will see you soon.